How I make my version of McDonald's grilled chicken wrap. Seasoning that I am using is one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of Badia Complete Seasoning, three teaspoons of Goya Adobo for the salt, or you can just add salt to taste, and about one tablespoon of black powder or less, depending on your spiciness level that you want. After putting the seasoning in a bowl, I add some extra virgin olive oil into the mix. And with a spoon, I mix it all together really well to create a paste. After washing and cleaning my boneless chicken breast, I will cut it into smaller pieces and then mix it really well with my seasoning. I will then cover it and place it in the refrigerator from 2 hours up to overnight or longer. The longer it sits and marinates with the seasoning, the better. I then dice a medium onion, put it in a bowl and put it to the side for later. I then heat up 2 to 3 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in a large skillet. After the oil heats up a bit, I will add my raw chicken that has been pre-seasoned for a couple of hours or longer. I will then add a half a cup to a cup of water and then cover it until the chicken is halfway cooked. I will finally add my diced onions and continue to cook it and stir it until the moisture has completely gone and evaporated and the chicken has been browned and the onions sauteed. I take the flour tortillas and I wet it with some water and get ready to assemble. I first start with my favorite salad dressing. You can use whatever you like. I add some shredded cheese. I add some lettuce on top of that. I then add my grilled chicken, some more shredded cheese, and whatever dressing that I'm using. And then it's time to roll. I then put it either in a sandwich or panini press or I would put it back on the skillet until I get some brown marks. And that my friends is how I make my version of the McDonald's grilled chicken wrap.